Good morning. Hey, look at us, right on time. It's amazing. <laughs> we are punctual, if anything. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing good. good. Doing good. good. Same. We are here. here for session number two now of our rematch from scenario number four of Burnside Takes Command, the campaign game called Burnside Takes Command. For those of you who are confused about what that naming convention was, there you go. We have completed four turns thus far. Let me open up our calendar here. We are now on turn five to start this session. And for those of you who watched all the way to the end, and we do appreciate those folks, according to that wonderful YouTube algorithm that gives me the stats for people that start the episode and how far they watch. And I think, Roger, we get about 15 minutes of undivided attention. But some people, well, they go all the way to the end. And if you saw all the way to the end, you know that we like to roll that next random event. And I was elated because my attempts to get Jackson out of the valley were successful. And then we rolled the random event and it turns out he was incorrect. He had looked at the train schedules wrong or something, and uh, he was not coming out of the valley early. So I'm uh, back to exactly where I started. That was my brief glimmer of hope there, and now it's back to regular. So turn five then will be a free and clear day for the Union to do whatever the Union's going to do. You've had a week to speculate now, Roger. What do you think? I'm definitely concerned about Jackson. I'm glad he was delayed. I feel pretty good. I've got, you know, three core or two core across the river, another core about to cross. But this game can turn so quickly as we discovered last when we did our first playthrough. So we'll see how this goes. I, I expect pontoon delays and more rain. So I've got to be ready for that. Yeah, that is my fundamental strategy for this one is uh, keep a soft wall. And I will admit, there was a, a certain amount of cognitive dissonance this week where it's like, I just, I don't want to look at it because when I look at it, I get depressed because that juggernaut is substantial. I mean, you've got the third core and the fifth core just trundling down on my left flank. I can't even hit and fade. All I can do is just be there as a, an obstacle. And if that prevents you from doing anything great... I think the cavalry was kind of effective in doing that. And, and I want to uh, thank the one person who pointed out that in one case I did have uh, a plus one modifier that would have actually shut Butterfield completely down at some point earlier when I rolled the six. But be that as it may, we, uh, we, I missed it. We let that go. It's fine. And I think as long as we're talking about corrections, the only other one I saw was, uh, and I noted it in the previous video edit was that, uh, as usual, uh, on a day ending in Y, I managed to mess up my retreat path for the 61st Virginia, and when they came across Scott's damn Ford, I immediately went into that Zock there, which they're not supposed to do because of Greg, so I did right. take them through the woods to avoid the Zock, and then that free one, I put them on the other side of that little creek there. So that was the only substantial correction, other than um, there was some wording issues on and I and I and I think I think Brendan had pointed that out uh, I even went back and I was like yeah that wording seems a little suspect on the whole shoes thing I don't think that nullifies their plus one it, I think it truly gives them a negative one so hood in in those cases there was marching at a at a deficit luckily though uh, when I was doing the editing I saw that well it was in the rain turns and they were mud marching anyway, and they weren't going very far. So it had less of an impact on it, uh, because I think he got the a 3, which would have been a 2, which was the same. And then he got a 6, which took him all the way up to the edge of the river anyway. And uh, and then I think I did a, a 1 hex move. So all in all, it did not have a glaring impact on it, so nothing needs to be changed there. But yeah, um, we'll make sure that they tighten up the wording on... The, the shoes random event to, to indicate that it is definitely a not a nullification but a minus one to what would normally be and I think it does even say that but you and I both interpreted it mm. wrong that was it for me you know we live and die by the random events and now we've got a whole turn without them so I'm kind of scared 
what turn five is going to be because you can just go with abandon and I'm just reacting, which normally I like to do. But this one just gives me a very weird feeling because you've just got so many credits in your favor that it's, uh, oh, wow, I've, I've blunted you at the Rappahannock here at the bridge. But you're like, OK, I'll just go somewhere else, which I think was my union strategy last time. So this one, yeah, I'm hoping for some low marching rolls. Yay! I could get them for sure, given my pension for that. So, well, I... but I've got a lot of guys that are tired. I mean, I've got a lot of guys that are a lot of exhaustion, and because I pushed pretty hard because it was a non-rain turn last time. So we'll see. Yeah, I do like to keep extending the line of rope to to the opponent. It's like, okay, you want to march again? Go ahead. Let's see what happens. Go ahead. But sometimes that can be dangerous because then you roll a six and then all of a sudden, chaos. Yeah, we'll do what we can this time. So let us move on then into the turn. We have done a random events phase, of course. No supply. Nobody's out of ammunition at the moment. So we have leader transfers to start us off. Yeah, well, I'm going to move Stoltman. Oop. Start off right away by moving stuff around. Uh, Stoneman Hooker to Whipple. Hunt's going to go over to Hooker. And I can Burnside get there. He can. Because he can go through Zox. He just can't go through right. units. That's, he's within 10 hexes. And I'll move Couch down to Howard. Sumner. Actually, I'm going to leave Couch with Hancock. Now that I see who swears everybody. Oh, dang it. Move Sumner down to Hancock as well. And that's it for me, I think. Okay. I'm going to move Longstreet and Lee. Get them kind of centrally located here. So I'm going to bring them to Anderson. Stuart is going to stay where he is. And that is it. So that's all I got. My big choice. Uh, all right. Any attachments? I don't, I don't have any. Yeah, I don't see any that are of benefit right now. So then we move on to our action cycle. So, uh, let me wish you the best of luck here, and I'm going to well, give us our first roll. So here is the first initiative. It's yours. I'll start with Butterfield. He'll activate Sykes, Humphreys, and Griffin. Their movement. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That's what I like to see. Butterfield is going to move with Sykes. There you go. One to there. Yeah, they'll make a prepared attack against sub one. So I see the type's going to be a plus one. Tactical is going to be a plus one. Ratio is going to be a plus two. You have two pieces of artillery to my two pieces of artillery in Rupp, I think, is a roll. It is a roll. So, yep. on even, artillery is unlimbered. It is not. There's obviously no flight, no other train, so the final's a plus four. Okay, plus four. Right out of the gate. Here we go. It's a seven. Okay, let's see if... Can I continue my streak? Uh, it's still a plus four. Okay. Yeah, and we now have ammunition loss. Yeah. Out of ammunition issues, which I hope we didn't have any the first time. We did I, not. I forgot. To no, look. we did not. Okay. No. All right. So artillery okay. is ammunition. Ammunition. Okay. And I'm going to because I'm a five and that's a four. I think I just got the manpower loss. Yeah. I did. So we're going to lose a manpower. Down to that. Demoralize. Three fatigues. Takes that back up to there. And he must go 
one away by road, two away by road, three away by road, and we'll continue four away. He's now out of ammunition. Not happy about that. I'm just going to move Humphreys cross to there, which cost him, I think, that's five, so he would have two movement points remaining. What would Stuart like to do? Uh, Stuart, let's see, has two. Yes, we will, we will do a retreat. So he will get a fatigue. He's already disorganized. And this is a standard roll with no modifiers. And he shuts him down. Yep. So one away, two away, three away, four away. Done. Griffin will do a min move to there. He's got 12, 5, but you just put long street there, so that's plus 2. 12. Ooh, that would not be good. So Griffin will stop right there. That's the answer, buddy. Initiative. That's yours. Okay. I'll play the game. Uh, we'll activate sub 4. They will come out of their entrenchments. They will march. They get a 2. So they go 1, 2. Uh, initiative, yours. We'll take Whipple and the artillery reserve. We'll attempt a four assault against sub four. Here's the attempt. It's a three. Hooker is a five. So they both come in. A Butterfield is within the command radius of a hooker. So a hooker will attempt an assault. Five, that does not come off because he needed to be right. one less. So he does not get the grand or attempt at a grand because he'd have to, then have to go talk to Mr. Burnside. So the type here is going to be a plus one. Tactical is going to be a plus one. I do have Hunt with artillery, so he's going to be a plus one. I have ratio covered. I have six hexes covered, but one comes off for a flank of plus three. I have ten pieces of artillery to one. That's plus nine. Rough terrain is a potential artillery modifier. If I get even, it'll be used. It's not used. There is a creek for a minus one, so it's six up, one down for a final of a plus five. So, type, tactical, hunt, flank. Yep. Okay, plus five. It's an eight. Come on, big six, big six! Uh, it's plus four. Another manpower loss. Another demoralized unit. So, two, three. Demoralized. Loses a manpower. And that goes to there. So he has to go one away. Two away. Let's see. That is three from you. I can go three away. And four, and we'll take it five. And they'll advance into the hex. Uh, initiative. Oh, double six. There it is. Needed that just a second ago. All right. Uh, Yours. Stuart will activate the three calves. Uh, here's their movement plus two. 12, uh, 
we will have uh, they're all going to end up together so there's uh, no actually Stuart's going to transfer to Hampton and uh, they'll go first they'll go one two three and four uh, F Lee will go one two three and four and extended march for WHF Lee He's okay. And he will one, two, three, four, and five to there. Okay, initiative, yours. Okay, uh, Smith will activate Newton, Brooks, and Howe. There's their movement, plus one. They go four. Smith will stay with Brooks. Howe will go first. One. Two, three, four. He has nothing left. What would Stuart like to do? Stuart will stand. Yeah. Two, four, three, and four to there. Initiative. Yours. I will have McClaw's march. Here is his movement. Two. Um, he will simply go to there. Initiative. Mine. I'm going to have Hood march. Here is movement. Feeling fresh and dandy. Six. Yeah. Got their shoes on. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Initiative, mine. We'll have hood march again. Here's movement. Another six. Makes all the difference, boys. One, two, three. Four, five, six to there. Initiative. Mine again. Hmm. Yeah, let's take hood to three. There's movement. Whew, nice. He's got seven. Let's see what his extended march is like. It's okay. One, two, three to there. Initiative, mine. Typical Burnside. Yeah, we're making <laughs> great progress. Oh, where's my lunch? Ah, uh, okay. All right, let's have let's get him out of danger zone here. Let's uh, have the 61st Virginia march. Here is his movement plus one, six. He's gonna go one, two, three. Four, five, and six to there. Initiative, mine. I'm gonna have Pendleton march. Here is his movement plus one, three. He's gonna go one, two, and three to there. Initiative, mine. Pendleton again. Movement four. Just have him join McClaws there. Initiative again. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna bring Pickett. Uh, Pickett will march. And clear out of his entrenchments. And here's movement plus one four. He's going to just do one, two to their initiative. Yours. Pick six core again. Brooks, Newton, and Howe. Here's their movement. Six. Smith will transfer to Howe. Howe will go first. Here's his extend march. 
plus one. So he's going to flip to disorganize. Uh, he has six movement points. What would Stuart like to do? We will stand. Twelve to four and a half. Go. One, two, three, four. I'm sure you'll stand again. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's Brooks extend. He's okay. He can go one, two, five to there. And Brooks will go one, two, three, four. And he has to stop there. Oh, extend on Newton. He's okay. Uh, initiative. That shores. I'm going to pass. Okay. Uh, Stoneman, third core. Uh, he's going to have to get Whipple in there to reserve C out of the way, or, to, or Whipple anyway. So, yeah, I'll take Whipple and to reserve C. Sickles and Bernie. There's their movement. It's four. Tell reserve C will go first. He's exhausted going to fatigue three, so this is going to be plus two for him. He's going to flip to disorganize. So he's going to go one, two, three. He'll go four to there. Whipple. He's okay. And I forgot to say that uh, Stoneman Hooker, so I'll stay, stay there. One, two, three, four to there. Bernie will go one, two, three, four. Sickles will go one, two, three, four. Initiative, mine. Dolman will activate Sickles. Bernie, there's their movement. Six. Dolman and Hunt will transfer to Bernie. Brook and Burnside will stay with Whipple in the artillery reserve. So one, two, three. Sickles will go one, two, three, four, five. Initiative. Mine. And Getty will bring his ninth core. Except the artillery reserve. I will bring the artillery reserve. So Barnes and Sturgis will need extend die rolls. Here's their movement. It's four. Sturgis will go first. Wilcox will go with him. Here's his extend plus one. He's going to see it's going to be a seven on a ten. It's less than or equal to ten is two manpower losses. Jeez. Getty doesn't need an extend. Barnes will need an extend plus one. He's okay. Initiative. Fine. Stoneman will make an assault attempt on McClaws and Pendleton with both Sickles and Bernie. They both come in. So type's going to be a plus one. There's no tactical. I do get the hunt bonus of plus one. I now have seven pieces of artillery to your four, which is a plus three, which means artillery is now covered. And I have three i have all six hexes covered one comes off for a flank of a plus three uh there's no terrain i think that's it i see a final of a plus five plus five okay it's an eight be nice to stop here no it's another five. Oh. Uh, I actually have 20 to 9. I do have ratio. Okay. 
So plus six. Plus six. But once again, we're out of ammunition. Yes. But that's still going to be painful. Plus six on, what do I have there? I've got nine. Plus six on nine is two DR. So, 2DR, they are both going to be that, 1, 2, 3, I will take both of them off of my claws, there, and we must go way 1, way 2, way 3. way four. And do I wish to continue? One and two to there. And I lost one manpower as well. Okay. And I'll take it off of sickles. And I could advance, but I'll stay where I am. Initiative. That's yours. Oh, it's the wrong time. Let's get out of dodge before we make it worse. Anderson will march. Movement six. We'll go one, two, three, four to there. Initiative. Yeah, before I... Oh. Uh, I will have picket march. We'll go to two. Here's movement. Plus one. Four. Go one, two, three to there, four to there. Initiative, yours. Yeah, we'll help check to make French, Hancock, just those two. Here's their movement. Five. Pouch will transfer to Hank the French. And yeah, I'll summer transfer as well. Hancock will go one, two, one to there. Oh, so that'll be it. Uh, initiative, yours. Sub two will march. Comes out of entrenchments. Movement. Seven. Go three and six. Initiative. Mine. I'll pass. Seven couch like to make French. Hancock. I can go six hexes. Six movement points, I should say. Hancock will go one, two. I'll just go one, two, three to there. Initiative, mine. Take Barnsworth, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative, yours. Take sub three. There's movement. It's five. Go one, two. Initiative. Mine. Picket move. Movement. Five. Extended march. Flips. He will go. To there. Initiative. Yours. Barnsworth again. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. Initiative. Mine. Take Howard. Two. So I'll go one to there. 
initiative. Yours. Take sub three. Uh, here's movement. Five. What would Farnsworth like to do? Plus one. Plus three. Well, we'll stand there. Okay. Yeah, I will make a prepared attack on Farnsworth. So it'll be one for prepared, one for tactical, one for ratio, and then down two for the uh, forward. So just a plus one. So here's a plus one attack. Six. Well done. Right. So that's a plus five result. Oh, and two. So one DR for me. Well, shoot. That could turn out better. And for five. The circularization he loses a man. Just an end. Okay, so he's got a retreat. Five to six X's, eh? So, further away by road for one, further away by road for two, three, four. Yes. And five. And five there. Uh -huh. Okay, I'd like to do that. Instead. Sure. Um, I will not take the hex. I will stay right where I am. And you get no effect, no, right? No, uh, just an end action. Yeah. And, yep. yeah. Uh, initiative. Mine. Uh... I will pass. That should turn out better. We'll take first core. Double day given me a reserve the whole shoot match. Here's their movement. Five. Need one, two, three, four, five. Reserve one, two, three, four, five, given one, two, three, four, five, and double day one, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative, mine, same core. Six this time. Need will go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Given two, three, four, five, six. Guys, go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Initiative yours. Sub two march. Here's movement. Okay. Tell you, man. Some days. One hex. Initiative yours. Now take given a reserve and double day D three five. A reserve left will go first. Here's their extend. It's okay. It's gonna go one, two to there. Here's Gibbons extend. He's okay. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five to there. Double days extend. He's okay. He's going to go one, two, three to there. Initiative. Yours. Okay. Sub three, 
movement. Six, doesn't matter. Extend, he's okay. Go hex to hex and flip. Initiative, yours. Yeah, we'll try this. Double day, our third reserve left, we'll go to T4. I'll attempt the core assault in sub three. Comes off. So the type's going to be a plus one. Tactical is going to be a plus one. I've got 18 to three. Oh, with 18, the, uh, you're, you're doing both. Okay. Yeah. 18 to three. So plus, yeah, plus five. Uh -huh. And I've got 10 pieces of artillery tier one is plus nine and clear. Is a plus two with a die roll. It's not used, so I just get a plus one. And attacking across a major river is a minus two. So the finals one, two, seven, eight. Finals gonna be a plus six. Plus six. No flank. Uh, plus six. It's a nine. Here's defense. Uh, at least you're out of ammunition. Out of ammunition. <laughs> oh, okay. I think that's the third double threes we've had yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, so it's a plus six on three is one dr. So I will lose one. Shattering another three one. Plus six on eighteen is just an advance for me. Okay. But I am out of ammunition. So he's gonna go farther away by road. Roger. You're a monster. <laughs> uh, couldn't just go get Fredericksburg. All right. <laughs> Two away. This is three away, not farther away by that. So I'm going to lose another manpower. Right? No. And then, so I'll give you that. And that is farther away, but not by road. So I'll lose another one. All right, another manpower, up to eight. And now I can go there. So yeah. one, two, three, four, five. And we'll just keep it there. Well done. About how to supply. That was the only effect, and I will advance. Initiative, yours. Yeah. Hemorrhaging continues. Let's go sub two to three. Movement. <laughs> I tell you, when I don't need them. Uh, extend. Well, okay. So that makes things even worse. Flips, and then. Going Zok to Zok, I will lose another manpower. He flips, I lose a manpower, that's not a point, and we're right there. Initiative, mine, let's take him to four. What the hell? Movement, that's better. Um, extend March, plus one, he's okay. So four to there, five to there. Initiative. Mine. Picket will march. Movement. Extend march plus two or plus one. It's okay. He's just gonna go to there. Initiative. Mine. I will pass. Take Howard. This movement four. I'll go one, two, three, four to there. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Initiative yours. Pass. Okay, we'll use couch to activate Howard for movement. Here's his movement. It's five. Uh, couch will transfer to him. Here's his extend. He's going to flip. 
uh, fail a lot of extend marches. And he'll make a prepared attack on sub three. So this will be the type's going to be a plus one. Oh, Howard was a tactical plus three. How weird. That's such a weird thing for Howard. I didn't need to tactical plus one. Uh, you're out of supply. So you're now at half, I believe. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a plus 11 for ratio. Is that right? Yep. Uh, I have, you don't have any artillery, but I only have two guns. So there's no artillery. There's no flank. There's no terrain. So it's the final is going to be a plus 13. Yep. Okay. Plus 15. Mm, plus 10? Okay. Plus 10 is 2... Yeah, 3DR. So they are eliminated. And you... Looks, look, we don't have to worry about ammo for them now. And that takes me to 10 straight up. And thankfully it wasn't a tie. So we'll advance into the hex. Uh, initiative, mine. Take Greg. Go eight. It's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Initiative, yours. Pass. Take Greg again. And if all you're doing is just cavalry stuff, I'll, I will pass until you're done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to there. Initiative, because double ones will end the turn. Take Greg again. Eight, bend. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there. Should you do? That's yours. Presume pass. Mm -hmm. We'll try Greg to fatigue four. Which is movement. Seven, extend. Ah, he's going to flip. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, initiative, mine. My yards of fatigue. Three. I'm going to pass. Okay, I'll pass as well. And the turn, very successful union turn. He's bringing the pain, Roger, bringing the pain. Um, no. All right. So everyone is recovered. We will advance the time marker to turn six. Okay, so I just want to say, sir, that clearly all of those lessons from your dad have paid off because you are playing chess in this game and I am playing like first grade checkers because not only are you getting the you know, some beautiful strings of initiatives there with the union, you are executing your plan, bingo, bango, bongo, with each one of those very effectively. And then when I get it, I'm like... Hey, I got it! And then I've got maybe I can move Zok to Zok or something. And and when I really need that, just, oh, oh, he's okay, here comes the first core. He's whipping around. He's going for that flank. Oh, you know, eventually, you know, I'll be able to move something in the way. No. <laughs> so it's a, it's a little discombobulating is the official military term for that. Yeah, I, I got really good. And I got some good movement roles and, and it's you got great movement rolls, but when you couldn't use them, ones would have been exactly. perfectly, perfectly fine. Right. And... Yep. 
So that when you needed the sixes, you got ones, which yeah. did enable me to kind of cut off some some routes and um, and eliminate uh, units. Yes. So uh, yeah. yeah, you are currently sitting at a uh, at two to one. So two to one, but we have a, a glimmer of hope here. Let's see what happens on our random event for the next turn. So if you'd like to do the honors. Two dice, right? This one. Mm -hmm. It's a fourteen. It's probably not good. A local guide informs one player of a means to cross a seemingly impassable ford. Roll a die. Uh, so four chances and six. It's mine. Uh, okay, <laughs> I get to cross any division or cavalry brigade over a ford in any turn. Okay, so that's a little credit you can save for later, I guess. Okay. I'll roll for the die, I guess, since I'm doing the random. It's a three, which is... That's yours. Fine. Okay. So let's put that marker out there. So basically on a rain turn, you could cross a ford. Yeah. Let's put that on the marker here for this turn. So this next turn, Jackson has arrived... And that means I, like you had done in the previous game, the cavalry arrives first, right? Yeah, I'm going to bring... Right. Okay. Okay. Let us, uh, let's see. Let's go through the rest of the stuff. Sequence. Supplies. Supply phase. Yeah, supply phase. So you're first. How many attempts do I get here? I think I only get two. Boy, I got Sykes is out of ammunition. Sickles and Bernie are out of ammunition. And double day and your total reserve left are out of ammunition. I got line of communication to all of them. So the double day is exhausted is a plus one. He has no obstructed hexes. Sykes does have an obstructed hex. And he crosses they both cross the Rappahannock. Rappahannock. So that's, that's plus one, right? Yep. Yeah. We're gonna try Bernie and Sickles. We'll try Bernie first. So this is going to be a plus one for exhaustion, a plus one for less than or equal to five, and he needs a five or less. So Bernie needs a five or less plus two. So he's not. Okay, we'll try, actually we'll try double day. Same situation. Five or less plus two. He gets it. He gets it. So double day is back in the ammunition. Got it. Okay, so one for two. Now it's your turn. And I think I just get one. Is that, I think the only one that's yep. not been eliminated is sub one, right? You got McClaws and Pendleton. Oh, way up there. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Yes, we need... So... But you're on the other side of the Hazel. So you're, you won't get the... the uh... And I think we have... I think you can trace... Yeah, yeah, without up through here. Yeah. Yep. So I will try McClaws. Here is his straight up. And he is back in. Okay. That helps. Leader transfers. Oh boy. I'll move Hunt. Whipple and Artillery Reserve C. Move Reynolds to Gibbon. Franklin where he is. Ouch. Back to Cock and Fridge. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Okay. Lee and Longstreet to Pickett. And Stuart will stay with the cavalry. And that is all. Attachments? I don't have any attachments. I don't believe you do either. Nope, I do not. Okay. And initiative. So uh, here is our next initiative. It's mine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll bring Jones on. Uh, okay. Watch what watch this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I would need an eight or better 
on two dice. <laughs> Watch this. Uh, Jones will come on the map. Uh, Jones will march. Uh, here's movement plus one. <laughs> yeah. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Initiative line. All right. We'll take Jones to two. Here's movement. It's fine. He's just going to go there. Initiative yours. Thanks so much for that idea. Take double day. Here's his movement. I can roll six. Here's his extend. Franklin will stay with him. Obviously, he has to. Four plus one, so he's okay. So they'll go one. Two, three, four to there. He'll make a normal attack on sub two. He gets a tactical plus one. 16 to three. So the ratio is plus four. He has all six hexes covered. So the flank's going to be a plus four. Plus three artillery. So artillery's covered. So this is going to be a final of a plus nine. Do it! I'm here! Oh, 13. Seven. Well. There you go. Now we will take the hex. Uh, initiative. Yours. All right, we'll bring Jackson on. Here is his movement, plus two. One, two, three. The rest of them will just come on there, and they all fatigue one. Uh, initiative, nine. I'll take them all to two. Movement. Right. One, two, three, and four. Followed by one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three. One, two, three, four. Initiative. Yours. Butterfield will activate Humphrey Griffin. Butterfield will stay where he is. Griffin will go one, two, three, four to there. Humphrey will just go one to there. I guess Stuart does have the option of cav retreating if he'd like. Uh, who's there? Initiative. That's yours. Anderson will march. Movement. One, two, three. Initiative. Mine. Picket will go to two. Here's movement plus two. It's eight. Uh, extended march. He will lose a manpower. He will go overland to there. Three and I have five remaining, so I will make a prepared attack. Let's see, you've got you've got artillery in there. You do six pieces. That's all right. That's we're doing it. So plus one for prepared, plus one for tactical. I have a full flank plus four. The ratio, I have six to seven, so that's minus one on ratio. You have a hunt bonus, so that's minus one for that. And then you've got ten pieces to my one, which is definitely going to be a negative two, I'm thinking. Minus three, actually. Minus three. Oh, even better. Okay, cool. So we got six up, 
and five down for a plus one attack. Here is a plus one roll. <laughs> yeah. Morale check is failing. Okay. Well, got the one six, so I had to get that every game. Um, can't, couldn't even have that. Right. Right, 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 right. Okay, so I got... What? That's 2D. Boom, boom. Two losses. Anything for you? I'm guessing no. No, it's nothing. All right. Here's the next initiative. Yours. Couch shall activate French, Hancock, and Howard. Their movement. Five. Uh, French will go first, Couch, and Sumner will go with French. So one, two, three, four. Howard, one, two, three, four, five. Howard, one, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative. Yours. All right. Well, Jackson marches. Whole core. Here's the movement. Eight. Come on, foot cavalry. All right. Let's take it one at a time. AP Hill. His extended march is fine. He is going to force march. So flip. Here's the so. Right now we got MP8. Here is the Force March. He adds another five, but he loses two manpower. So 13 total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen to there. DH Hills extend. He's okay. He will also force march. Flip. Force march. He gets another two. So he has ten total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And he loses a manpower. Okay. Uh, early will go next. Extend. He's okay. He will also force march. Flip. Force march roll. He gets another two. Loses the manpower. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And Tolliver is going to extend march. He's okay. Flips. Force march. He loses two. One, two, but he gets another five, so he's got thirteen. He will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Initiative. Line. We'll have McClaw's march. Here's movement plus one. Seven. Here's extended march. He's okay. And we're going to go one, two to there. Initiative. Mine. Uh, Pend Pendleton will march. Here's movement. Boo! There's extended march. He's okay. He's just gonna go. Can't win for losing. 
we'll go there. Initiative, yours. Oh, will Cox activate the Ninth Corps? Here's their movement. Oh, nice. Lovely. Reserve right will go one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven to there. Wilcox will, will march with Getty. Burns will go one, two, three, five, six to there. Getty and Wilcox will go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Sturgis will go one. Two, three, four, five, and they do not have enough to get into that hex. They would need plus four to get into that hex. So initiative is mine. Takes Sturgis to take two. There's this movement. Extend. He's gonna lose a manpower. Dang it. Just do there. Initiative yours. All right. Continue the noose. Pendleton to three. I, it's the dice roller is mocking me now. I mean, there's just, there's it just is. no it's two good. ways about it. Uh, extended march. That's fine, and he's just going to pile up McClaws for safety initiative. Mine. Anderson. Movement. Go to there. Initiative. Yours. Hey, Griffin to T2. There's his movement. It's four. So he has enough to make a prepared attack on Pendleton and McClaws. So the type's going to be a plus one. I believe I have all six hexes covered because I've got. going into those woods from Barnes and Hotel Reserve and Newton. So flanks plus plus four. It's 17 to six. Uh, five and a half, because I'm out of ammo with Pendleton. Oh, five and a half. So that's still going to be plus two ratio. Is that right? Uh, yes. Five and a half is 11, 16 and a half. Yep. And you have a tactical on me for minus one. Ooh. So it's going to be seven up and one down for a final level plus six. Is that what you see? I do see that. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> this is brutal. This is brutal, Roger. This is very brutal. And, you know, it's like... Well, why why wouldn't you put up a flanks refuse? There you go. So twelve to three is nine plus nine. <laughs> it's gonna kill them all in the retreat anyway. Uh so let's take it all from Pendleton. Uh so he's going to oops. Pendleton is going to delete. And we'll give you those two. Four 15 to 5. That's, this is a, a pr pretty good showing here. So he's... That, that's demoralized a second time. He has to go farther away. One. Farther away. Two. Not by road. So lose another manpower. And... One, two, three. Yeah. 
three, and four. Okay. And then I can escape farther. You're just going to surround it. Just, uh, so we'll go five and six to try to flee. Okay. Hex is yours. I believe Gryffindori was. That was 17, not plus nine. Let's see if that was anything. No effect on me, yeah. It's weird to see uh, these big divisions without any leadership just taking that initiative going, oh, you know, I'm terrible, but I'm big, and, you know, I provided you many opportunities here, so Griffin did great. Fantastic, Griffin. So we'll take artillery reserve right with Wilcox and Getty. Here's their movement. Six. So they'll go one, two, three. Or five to there. Or is your right? We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Initiative, my, take our calories are right. We'll roll for movement and roll for extend. And yeah, should just roll for extend. Oh well. It's just going to go one to there. Initiative, mine. So yeah, we'll have Wilcock core assault attempt on McClaws. Here's the attempt. Comes off. So the type's a plus one. Uh, tactical is even. I have ratio covered. I have artillery covered. I have the... Oh, I don't have any flank. No. So this is just going to be a plus one attack. Okay. There we go. Plus one. Let's see how this works. Three. Defense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, plus two final. Plus two final on four. Plus two on four is just. Okay. Well. I gotta get out of there, so one away, two away, three away. I am disorganized. And we won't take the hex. Initiative. Mine. Well, Butterfield take Griffin to take three. There's this movement. Uh Waterfield will not transfer. Here's Griffin's extend. And he's going to flip insult to injury. Oh, well. We go one hex to there. He has one movement point remaining. What would do it stack like to do? He'll stand. Yep. Initiative. Mine. Take Mead. Mead. So we're going to take Mead to T1. We're going to move him. He's going to go two hexes. He's going to start heading back to the combat initiative. Make him again. Three ones. Initiative, that would have been a turn if I rolled it correctly. Take Bayard. Four. Four. Initiative. Yours. Take 61st Virginia. Movement. <laughs> One, two, initiative. Yours? Take Bayard. Five. One, two, three, four, five, initiative. Yours? Sixty uh, first Virginia again. Movement. <laughs> Luckily, oh, hurry. they can go. <laughs> ah, that's a destroyed bridge, so it's n not a four. It is a Ford. Isn't it? 
like a major river, it's not. Not. So I'm wasting. If you, want I'm waste, head, if you want to head towards Scott's Ford, go ahead. Yeah, I'm wasting energy there. Uh, so yeah. go ahead and back up and put you. Okay. At, so he was. Okay. So, so one uh, two and one, then one two. He's two. The board. Yeah. One two. Okay. Thanks. I'm perfectly okay with that. Yeah. Initiative. Yours. As I'm giving up on what was a bad idea. Um. I'd say your idea is working pretty well so far. Yeah, well, in terms of just thinking, I just that was more strategy than tactics. Tactics today, but next, pretty good, I think. I have got a bunch of guys exhausted. Uh, Smith still has some life in him, doesn't he? I do not like Stewart hanging out where he is. It's that simple. So Smith is going to take Brooks and Howe to fatigue one. And he is going to attempt an assault on Stuart's hex. What would Stuart like to do? So 21 to 5. Um, we're going to stand. Okay. Here's the attempt. It's a 4. He Smith is one a of them. 4. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Absolutely freaking useless. And you have how many? There's six. Five. Five. So we will go in with how do we cheat him in how fame? So the type's going to be a plus one. Tactical is even. I do actually have a flank of plus two. The ratio will be plus one. Uh, you have. Two pieces of artillery to my three pieces of artillery. So you do get a die roll to see okay. if you get an artillery modifier. So on even artillery is used, it's used. So artillery will be a minus one. So it's going to be four up and one down for a final of a plus three. Is that what you see? Type re Yes, that's right. Okay, plus three. Seven. How about a six? Just <laughs> not your day, Pat. It is not, not my day. day. Uh, yeah. That's a plus six. Plus six on five. So I'm going to lose two DR. Man. I got nothing. All right. I'll take them both off. One of, the, one of each. Give me another two. They are all demoralized. One, two, three. Demoralized. Oh, out of Zoc, one. Out of Zoc, two. By road three. And by road four. And we will come around five and six. Oh, no, we'll take the hex without Smith going to join him. Initiative. What's yours? I'll pass. A Humphrey to T2. This is movement. Five. Well, it would be six. He can be activated by Humphrey. But he's just going to do a min move to there. Initiative. Yours. Hood will march. Movement. Six. I'll go one, two, three to there. Initiative. Mine. Ransom will march. I'm going to give up his almost breastworks. Movement. Four. So it becomes a five. I'll go. One, two, three, four, and five to there. Initiative, mine, I'll pass. Smith will activate Newton. This is movement. He's just going to do a min move to there. 
initiative, combine, look around the board. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass as well. Never in my life have I ever wanted snake eyes in a session so badly and was so unfulfilled by that. We we did not get double ones one time today. No, that's, that's pretty amazing given how often we roll double threes <laughs> on combat. Yeah, and it was, it was pretty, uh, well, we will res recover the day. Everyone is recovered. Advance the turn. Turn seven. As we do each and every week before we talk about this today, let's do our random event. I think it is my turn to roll the random event. So, yes. Here we go. 41. Four. Rain and fog. Yeah, so, rain this, ne this turn and then fog the next fog turn. next turn. Okay. All right. So, let's put some rain and fog out there. Read up on fog rules. Do what affects artillery and assault actions. Wow. So that's a small, happen. yeah, that's a small Minus respite for me. Ever there was a moment I needed uh, rain, it was this one just to let everybody recover a little bit. Um, so, well, that's an interesting wrinkle. So I will, I'll take point on this session review. Uh, this is probably one of the most painful days I've ever played against Roger. You, uh, it was just this combination of brilliant tactical deployment. I kept putting myself into dangerous positions that you could capitalize on uh, in at least three situations. Otherwise, uh, I'm just uh, hemorrhaging really, really badly. So just a really bad day, and I'm, I've never been so excited for rain and fog. So that uh, at least gives me a moment to kind of pull things together, rest up a little bit, try to... Things were kind of going okay. I had a plan here for an orderly withdrawal. You know, I moved McClaws down here first, and then just trying to bring the subs back, and the subs being what the subs are, they're like, we're not going to march. So you manage to uh, get the opportunity to pin me here and then bring the... Uh, first corps around with just three phenomenal marches got around the flank and today was the i had the most opportunities to put up flanks refused in three instances when i critically should have taken the opportunity to do that i either passed or i went with something else and uh for those of you out there in the comment section that are always saying hey you guys don't know how to use flanks refused you're either doing it too much or too little today was certainly me doing it too little because i think roger had three terrific surrounds where he got the plus four flank and i could have at least shaved a couple of points out there now i will say that in the majority of those you were getting plus seven plus eight plus nine so it was really just kind of like uh, and 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 a couple of those i rolled one so rolling ones in combat is always going to be personally demoralizing to me and it's it makes me just look at this game and go i'm just spinning my wheels here roger is just outplaying me and the dice roller is outplaying me so what am i doing here but if i can just hold out <laughs> let's see what the next turn's going to be like right that's that's what keeps me coming back but it is hard it's very hard like you said i'm just i'm having one of the worst days of my life here uh, and it's just nothing is going right for me and it seems like psychologically everything is going right for you because you're getting great movement you're getting great combat you're you're i'm setting things up for you i'm teeing it up and and you're just making the most of it so it's hard it really is hard to have days like this i can imagine i was surprised a couple of times about you not setting flanks refused or there was one movement you made that was like you kind of i was i knew you were trying to like get some momentum and I thought, boy, that's a dangerous move. And it turned out to, to be that way. I think it was the guy that I ended up the sub. That yeah, ended up yeah, the it was, it was, yeah, it was down here. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, you had a couple of opportunities that I was. And this is a game where this is the, the checkers analogy coming back. It's like, oh, you smack me. I'm like, OK, I've got it. Now I'm going to I must lash out and I must do something. And this takes me back to the very, very first game 
of great campaigns that I ever played, and it was McClellan's opportunity, and I just wanted so badly because I was just getting frustrated, and I was like, I must do something offensive, and, like, the attack here. Oh, you know, this is fantastic. I got Lee, I got Longstreet, I got him in a surround, and then what happened? Six up, five down. Okay. Didn't take a moment to just think that one all the way through. I just lashed out. It was just totally visceral. Uh, I just felt like I needed to try to shut you down for a second, and I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I was surprised when we totaled it up. I mean, the 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 artillery and clear. That's just huge. If you oh yeah, get, yeah. Well, because your um, your my penalty is two, and your artillery reserves are all six. So it's like yeah. Why? Yeah, why? It's hardly any benefit for the. Uh, and I'm glad I'm I'm glad I'm rid of Pendleton, wastrel. And in retrospect, I wouldn't have made my attack with Wilcox if I'd actually done the proper flight calculation, but I didn't. I always forget that the rivers come off, you know, don't start. So, um, so there was no flight there, which is really annoying. Oh yeah. Well, when you did that, uh, I was like, I'm not going to correct your opponent when he's making a mistake. You did that. I was like, well, clearly he has a reason for doing that, but I'm going to capitalize on it because he's going to force a retreat, and that gets me yeah. to where exactly I want to be. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It actually, yeah, it turned out I, I drove you right where I didn't want you, which is on that bridge, which is going to be crucial for me to get. That's the only bridge that's not destroyed. So now down the road, i got to get you out of there. Mm -hmm. Because if you recover, you can destroy it. That's right. Which means I've got to wait on my pontoons, which, until I get my pontoons, it's... Uh, I mean, I guess I'll get them sooner or later. But this is... Uh, this is not over. I don't want you to think it's over. Because, oh, no, uh, no. Yeah, I, I mean, I know I, this is... This is absolutely a waiting game for the CSA. If you can just... If you can outweigh and keep those pontoons back and keep them going and and clearly you're not going for any victory points but you are going for heavy duty losses uh so at some point i gotta get jackson in there and i don't want to rely too heavily on him but i need to get him into the fray so that i can try to get something going because my offensive capability is terrible right now just terrible you know i've got just I've got Sickles, Bernie, and Sykes, and Mark Tillery Reserve left are all out of ammunition. So that's cutting into my offensive capacity as well. So we'll see. I think this has got a long way to go. I'm literally just taking it moment to moment, which is to my hazard. And I'm also taking it turn by turn. It would be nice if we could get a few more and short end of turns. Of course, now I want I want the rain to last for a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's hard depending on random events to help you out here. But I'm, that's in the position I'm at right now. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching today. If you learn anything, please learn from my mistakes today. Uh, flanks are few. It's very important. Don't put yourself into a hazardous position and all that good stuff. Oh, and roll better. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Roger. It always says so. <laughs> That's right. Roger, I will, uh, I will leave you for a week, and then we will uh, resume next Sunday. Thank you to everybody who's out there watching. I want to tell you how much I appreciate that we get some comments uh, each and every week. I'd love to hear more discussion going on in the comment section. We had some questions here and there, and this is your opportunity to speak out and opine. Otherwise, you'll see this out on social media. If you could tell a friend about it or just thumb it or whatever you do, click a like, click that subscribe, all that good stuff we ask you to do. And I'm currently showing you the uh, supporters of the channel. Thank you very much to everybody who kicks in a buck or two. We really appreciate it. So, Roger, have a great week, sir. You too. Talk I'll, to you next week. I will try, man. I will try. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.